Thank you, Deepshika and Akshit, for accepting my request. Could you, uh, Deepshika, could you please tell us a bit about the profile or the domain uh, in which you are working at NVIDIA? Uh, thanks, Sulankar, for having us for this uh, session. So I would start like what I do in day-to-day -day life. I work as a data scientist or that role also called as solution architect. So there is a various, uh, there is a minor difference and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, I work as a data scientist and the domain I generally work in recommendation system and conversational AI. The uh, role is more like I have to work on the problem or the statement that our um, co-organization or partner works in. So I would say, example, I would take an example, if a company is working in e-commerce and NVIDIA is trying to enable them, the way we work is that we work as a data scientist who works on their problem statements and try to accelerate that and achieve the best that fit or suit the, the business requirement. So that's the overall thing that we do. On daily basis, what I do is that I have to go into the depth of models, understand the parameters, make it uh, state of the art and customize it on the requirement that has been come up from the uh, product manager or that came up uh, from the business requirement. I would like yeah, Akshit thank... to speak more uh, on that. Yes, yeah, please Akshit, yeah. So, uh, I mean, as, as Siddhartha mentioned earlier, right, I, I work in the same role, but I work as a data scientist in NVIDIA US. So the fundamental difference b between, the only probably difference between my and Deepshika's role would be that I work with North America customers and North America partners, right? Uh, whereas Deepshika tends to work with India partners. There are opportunities for us as data scientists to work with other geographies like China or Japan or whatever other countries that NVIDIA is in. Uh, but uh, mostly we, we focus on our own geography and, and you know, we, we give answers to, okay, what kind of features and the, the, the e-commerce website, right? What kind of features an e-commerce website can accelerate uh, with NVIDIA? So let's say if there is a recommendation engine or if there is a search ranking problem, how do you get the best results out to the user in the minimum amount of time? And how do you compute all of that based on, you know, user's history, user's preferences, and uh, and then get the right thing to the right user so that uh, you can maximize the kind of revenue you're making or, uh, you know, whatever other metrics that you, you may be tracking. So um, that that's uh, my, that will be my two cents on, on, the, on the question. Yeah, so what I get is that uh, you are basically providing or helping the businesses, uh, you know, to solve some of their problems or at least to help them serve the customers in a much better way. Yeah. Right, I, this... I, I would just re-articulate it. So as a data scientist, since NVIDIA is not an e-commerce company, right, or it's not a conversational AI software provider company. So we are not being, we are not uh, Netflix what we do is that we work with those companies and with the infrastructure that we have and the software stack that we have our work is more like to accelerate and any data scientist that works in any uh, organization or domain is basically the first major role of a data scientist to understand the business requirement and then formulate it into a technical requirement and then work on that problem statement and i think that's what we also do the difference here is that our problem statement mostly comes from uh, the company with whom we collaborate or work with. Yeah. So what type of firms are usually you guys mainly working with? E-commerce or some other websites as well? Okay. okay. Uh, I would let, yeah, I should go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so uh, what other domains that we work with, right? So we work from places which are providing healthcare to the world, uh, be it hospitals, be it organizations that do drug discovery, uh, from organizations that review your uh, uh, radiology data sets like MRI and CT and then give, give you a diagnosis, uh, which a doctor might take some more time to do. Um, we do it uh, with AI and we power it that with AI. And then um, there is also robotics. So in factories, 
uh, you want robots to like uh, go to the production line or or move certain places from in in a go down from one place to the other um th- those kinds of autonomous tasks that can be uh, like automated and without human intervention uh th- those kinds of things come under robotics right and uh, after that there is you know higher education how do you accelerate innovation what professors and scientists are trying to do how do you accelerate that with gpus and you know give new algorithms to the world right to play with it to innovate further with right and then we have uh there are obviously uh cloud service providers so the kind of services let let's say uh, google cloud a platform or aws or azure or oracle cloud all of these cloud providers have uh, services like ai platforms and and their own uh, native services that support so many different customers how do you take those platforms and accelerate them on gpu so that whatever customer is coming to the platform is getting the maximum uh utilization of the resources that they're paying for right how do you make it more effective and and then you know we we talk about media and entertainment how do you design theme parks where do gpus fit in i in the iot world you can you find today gpus on the edge how does that work right uh can you make uh let's say as, as an idea can you make a conversational ai bot to talk to a child who is coming to the theme park and like can it be an autonomous bot and and it look like the cartoon character they are used to seeing on the tv right so that's that's a great example of media and entertainment uh and then after that we have like you know oil and gas uh where you have to run massive computations to to demand forecasting and you obviously have federal projects uh, and then there are also um there is a program at nvidia called inception which basically talks about startups how what are the new startups budding in any given space and how do you take them give them some resources and and work with them to develop some new algorithms or their product uh, so that they are they can use the power of ai early on in their in their startup journey um so those are the few domains that that come to mind uh, where nvidia is today and of course there are more but uh, those are the ones that on top of my head right now yeah Yeah. and as i can see that yeah it, nvidia the data scientists at nvidia they cover i guess a wide range of applications which are you know impacting almost every facets of life or i think anything for that matter